Welcome to Next Tech. You must have heard a news a few years back that Microsoft has invested its money on a super cool project that involves Elon Musk's brain. His brain? Yes, you heard that right. Not his real brain, but his mind-boggling venture into the world of artificial intelligence to create technology that can mimic the human brain. In today's video, we are talking about how Elon Musk's brain chip, Neuralink, could change the world forever. Before we go further, make sure you watch the video till the end to see all the amazing transformations that the Neuralink brain chip can bring into the world. So for the uninitiated, the basic idea behind Neuralink is to build a scalable implant that will connect the human brains with computers and teaching the machine to work as though it is the brain itself. The testing for this process has already begun in rats and soon the company plans on testing the brain machine interface on humans too. The process involved combing around 1500 electrodes into neuron thin threads and using a robot to bind these threads between blood vessels within the high entropy substrate of the brain surface. This is supposed to create a super being which is a combination of the man and the machine. This technology is being developed by Musk's company Neuralink which was founded in 2016 with the aim to further the research in the treatment of dementia, Alzheimer's and various spinal cord injuries. Musk recently even demonstrated the first tangible effects of their work in regards to the brain chip and put it in front of the world. The presentation was done using pigs, who they first showed without a brain chip and then with the implant installed and then the pig that used the brain chip and connected before it was removed. The purpose of this presentation was to show the world that connecting to the brain chip will not affect any brain functions. Each animal demonstrated remained the same before and after connecting to the brain chip. There were no changes in the behavior, thus providing that the process was not harmful and reversible. The people present could see that the pig's brain activity throughout the experiment, and every time the animal sniffed something, the graph would show the activity of its receptors. And in 2019, finally, Neuralink started its trials on humans. The brain chips are made to allow people to control phones and other devices with their minds. As of today, the company wants to help people with neurological conditions control their paralyzed limbs by rewiring certain neuro connections. The brain chip basically helps them send signals to the brain interface and allows them to control other devices without the need of any wiring or physical connection. Now, imagine if this technology does not change the world, then what will? If we are to believe Elon Musk's words, soon humans will be able to store their memories as a backup and download them into a robot body using this technique and more advancements coming into the future. The most basic idea is that all the human senses of sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste are electrical signals sent by neurons to our brains. So similarly, they could be sent to the computer as well. This will help in rewiring the circuit so that the suffering in the world could be healed at least to some extent. The goal is to make the paralyzed stand up and walk, the blind to be able to see the world, the deaf to be able to hear sounds, and also find the root cause and treat neurological disorders such as depression, insomnia, Alzheimer's, and many more. But apart from the neurological benefits, let us think about all the other uses of this technology and how this could transform different aspects of our world. When we think about the corporate world, the first thing that comes to mind is customer service. Imagine a technology that is beyond just taking orders and answering simple queries. A technology that can actually manage the whole user experience process intelligently. A tech that is able to make decisions on its own and resolve complex customer queries and complaints. Most importantly, its forecasting and smart selling skills will be of the scale as it will be able to recognize much more subtle nuances of customer behavior. The next thing that comes to mind with this technology is if the machine will be able to understand and analyze human emotions. With a human-like brain, it is okay to assume that this machine will be capable of understanding nuances in language such as sarcasm and irony and even be able to understand tone, implications, etc., which could mean a great deal in the field of sentiment analysis. With improved sentiment analysis, imagine how brands will get a much clearer picture of customer emotions and what they think or feel about the brand, thus giving them a hint in how to act or how to present themselves to make customers happy. Even businesses might be able to use this technology for the fulfillment of creative needs, such as graphic design, content creation, social media activity, and much more. And who knows what crazy ideas the machine could come up with? What if, with the help of this technology, the machines are able to design brilliant and engaging marketing or brand positioning campaigns with a slight combination of AI speed and human creativity? It's pretty clear that Neuralink will be one technology that will leave its impact far and wide if it becomes successful. But is that a good thing? However exciting the possibilities are, there are some very concerning things about all this. 
There have been concerns that this technology would most probably give humans the access to look into another person's most intimate thoughts. Is that not too much information and too much power to technology? And in turn, to businesses, corporations, or the governments of the world? We are not aware of how social media has made consumer data the most desired entity by companies all over the world, but the brain chip will be a one-up on this invasion of privacy. It is definitely not difficult to imagine how people could be taken advantage of when their entire thought process is put out for the world to access. I mean, we definitely hope that the Neuralink technology, which today connects you to a machine, but tomorrow will turn into a chip that will be inserted into your brain, will bring a whole lot of positive impact to the world and humanity. But it is quite possible that we will need to be very, very careful of the negative effects too. For now, all we can do is wait and watch how this whole mind-blowing technology plays out. This brings us to the end of the video. What do you think? Do you feel the brain chip is a boon to the world or will it be too much of a violation of privacy and thought? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video too and share it with your friends. Until then, make sure to check out our other videos on our channel. See ya.